Hey everyone, this is Kramon and welcome back to another Summoner's War video. So today I want to talk solely about the two new monsters that Summoner's War will be releasing, which is the Net 4 Robo and the Net 5 Sky Surfer. So we do know that there's a event, uh, there's a notice page for it already, which shows you the skill sets for the Light Robo and also the Water Sky Surfer. But before we do that, if you haven't watched the trailer already, it's actually pretty awesome, alright? I'm just gonna show you guys here. If you missed out on this one, the music is actually on point. <laughs> My type of music, the beat drops hard. And yeah, uh, let's just see this one. So we do know we are in like a spaceship kind of thing. And this warning door opens up. <laughs> and yeah, it, I mean it's a short one, but we do see the once the door opens up, the net four is that little ball over there, and the sky surfer on the right. So I think it's actually pretty cool that Comtus came out with this teaser, and I'm just gonna show you guys. Oh, we got a mystical scroll right there. It could be our future <laughs> sky surfer in that scroll itself. Who knows? <laughs> so yeah, uh, we'll head over to the notice page here. And I'm just gonna brief you guys like the skill sets of it. So greetings from Come to Us. We have released a, released a teaser that shows silhouettes of the Robo and Sky Surfer getting ready for combat. Blah blah blah. And I think this is the most interesting part, right? Everybody wants to see. So. We are taking a look at the Light Robo first. Of course, I think it's not gonna be easy to get this one. It's a net 4, so you need a Lightning on the LD, and hopefully you pray that you get this one. I'm not too sure whether they will actually do SP summons for this uh, upcoming rotation for the new units. So hopefully we do see the SP button uh, coming out in our summon, summon hitch, alright? So, the skills. For the Robo, Energy Bolt, attack the enemy to deal damage that increases according to your max HP and increases your attack speed for one turn. Okay, pretty standard stuff. Execute Self-Destruct, this is a new mechanic, alright? So Self-Destructs to inflict damage that's proportionate to your max HP on all enemies. However, you will be defeated after this attack. <laughs> Huh, so it's something like a double edged sword right here. We have to see the multiplier for this self destruct. If it actually does more than Skogol's rock damage. Because, of course, Skogol does his damage proportionate to his max HP as well. So, if let's say he has 50k, it's divided onto the three units. If let's say it's just one unit left, then it's a full 50k damage. So I think this one, the self-destruct will be pretty interesting to see how much damage it actually does. If let's say he has 50k damage and he self-destructs 50k to all enemies, I think this is a very good unit. <laughs> so increasing the attack bar as well for the passive of all allies by 50% and decreases the attack bar of all enemies by 50% at the moment of death. Okay, this is actually a pretty game-changing skill. Maybe like an all-in kind of thing. You have to think whether it's the right time to use the self-destruct. If let's say the enemy is already moving, their attack bar is almost full. Your one is around like 50%, 50-60% and you need them to uh you need your team to actually move to in order to kill them uh in that turn itself then the self-destruct skill can come pretty handy. So yeah, I, I'm pretty liking the skill sets of the light one. I can't wait to see the other elementals. Of course, yet again, this is a light unit, so it should be pretty hard to get. So hopefully, hopefully, come to us. Please give us the new toys. Next up, we'll be looking at the Sky Surfer, which is a Nat 5, and the Water one is a support unit. Cutback Blow attacks the enemy to absorb the attack bar by 15% with a 50% chance. Hopefully after you Devilmon this unit, uh, the harmful effect rate increases. Um, I'm pretty sure it should happen that way. And Spin Grab Shot, which is the second skill, attacks the enemy to remove all beneficial effects with an 80% chance and stuns the enemy with a 30% chance yet again. 
we hope that the Devil Mon increases the harmful effect rate for these two skills because I think it's gonna be very important for the Sky Surfers. And what we are seeing here is a stripper with a stun. So in build strip stun with despair, I think is a pretty good kit. However, single target and with that passive in play, because it's a support unit, it doesn't deal much damage uh, based on the multipliers. Uh, we'll, we'll have to trial and error on this one once the monsters come up and hopefully we can actually have one to test it out. <laughs> so what I really like as a support unit, the passive, all right? So we're seeing the increased attack speed by 5% up to 100% for each beneficial effect granted on the enemies and allies. Very interesting. It's a definitely new passive that Comptos came up here. Uh, nothing like the others and in addition inflicts additional damage which is very important for support units additional damage you don't need crit damage to work uh, as long as it's on a speed HP HP build additional damage that ignores defense in proportion to your attack speed you will still do good damage so some something similar like things like more because they have multi hits and also uh, yeah, like more Okeanos, right? All you have to do is run them on like speed, HP, HP build with good additional damage coming up from the artifacts which we have been seeing for quite some time already. They do a lot of damage. So I really like this skill set. It does additional damage that ignores defense as well. Alright, when you attack the enemy on your turn based on your attack speed. So the longer he stays in the field, the more damage he actually does. This can be a very good unit in Arche because it's a single target stripper. Maybe you run it like super fast. You go for the the target that is the most threat towards your team. You strip stun him. He can't do anything for one turn and hopefully you can capitalize on that. I think it can be a very good uh, support unit uh, moving first turn. All right. However, it can be pretty interesting to see this unit on... Siege defense as well. However, single target strip and water will always target the fire. So, not too sure whether it's gonna be good in Siege, but I can definitely see this unit coming into the RTA scene. And yeah, that's about it that they have shown for us. Hopefully, we do know the skill sets for the other elementals really soon. Alright? So that's about it for this one. I really do hope that you enjoyed this video. Please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Like this video as well. Turn on the notifications. It helps this channel out a lot. Alright. Thank you everyone for watching. And I'll see you guys soon. Take care. Stay safe. Peace out.